Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday to you all. Welcome back for another round of Psychic Insight and Guidance from this moment forth. I am Miss Psychic D. Please excuse this today. <laughs> um, I'm actually basking my hair in some um, coconut oil at the moment, so a little bit of a pre-wash treatment for it. So yeah, don't mind this. Uh, thank you all so much for returning. As always, for all the subscribers, likers, sharers, and all that, thank you so much. And thank you so much to everyone who kindly leaves a donation at the end of all my videos. I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate your ongoing love and support. I'm not gonna stuff around today. I've got a couple of videos to make. This one's first, obviously. I'm gonna tap into the Mass Conscious Collective Energies. That's predominantly anyone that does either come across this video or does subscribe or yeah, receives a notification that it is landed in your lap, then this is for you. If you are new, welcome. You can go back and check out my other videos <laughs> um, to see what you can expect. Uh, late after this one, I will obviously take a little bit of a break and then I'll jump back on and do the Psychic Insight and Guidance for the month of February. And I'll be doing that purely for my Patreon members. So if you are not a Patreon member yet and you want to be part of receiving all the little extra benefits especially when it comes to you know living a more spirit-led lifestyle for yourself then you're the more than welcome to do that the link is down below it's only eleven dollars and eleven cents a month and um, you get heaps of extra content over there so yeah anyway so you guys you can expect that and next week guys i will be uploading um the star signs all the star signs for the month of february as well so but for today we're going to get straight into it because even ooh, even I'm super keen to find out what's happening at these um, in these energies at the moment because I do feel like this is a massive, massive transitional time. What I've been bantering on about for the last few months, I feel like it's it's about to come into play. Spirit assured me a few days ago that the energy we may be feeling at the moment is merely the fog lifting a little bit. So. Don't be surprised and actually summons it in that you get the clarity and the hope and the optimism that you need to move forward from this moment forth. So yeah, even though we're not quite there yet in a physical sense, I know energetically we're working our way up to it. So even like I say, even I'm excited about today's reading. So I'm going to ask Spirit to use all my senses safely, securely and full protection to offer the mass conscious collective, myself included, something we need to help us move forward right now. So like I say, I'm a psychic, so this can come as psychic um, prediction. This can come as guidance. This can come in so many different ways. It's never prescripted, so we never know. Well, the first card that did jump out is it's time to release negativity. So a lot of you have been doing this. If you have been doing this, you can expect some rewards to come in with you for you in the next two to three weeks. I literally said two to three weeks. So that's gonna bring up to the end of February, which is actually right on time really from what they've been telling me over the last few months so if you have been a deliberate creator you've been putting in the energy work the energy work is merely you know writing down your scripts and keeping your eye on the prize and really releasing and replacing those things that no longer serve you with things that do making those lifestyle adjustments all that sort of jazz please know that um things are going to work out we're heading into a more intuitive time so if you are someone who is a natural um you know, very intuitive, we all are, we all are, but a lot of people have been coming to me this last week saying, I see this out of the corner of my eye, or I've been dreaming about this, or, you know, um, receiving lots of signs and synchronicities, all that sort of stuff. That's all happening for a reason, because I feel like everybody's really been encouraged to get in touch with their higher self and their intuition. So like I say, guys, don't be too hard on yourselves. If you're still releasing negativity, purging addictions, releasing unwanted people, places, things, thoughts, all that sort of stuff, just keep going, just keep going. I feel like over the next coming weeks, we will start receiving little gold nuggets uh, for the energy work that we have done. Yep, see, maybe you're not inspired for physical action right now and that's okay. Even if it's not, I think you're just re receiving your inspiration. You're gaining momentum when it comes to your inspiration. So just remember, you've got to be inspired by something to be motivated to do anything. So you can't just wake up one day and be motivated. You know, your motivation comes from your inspiration. So if you set yourself a goal, I, um, we're still in the healing type energy. 
Spirit would like to remind everybody that you've got to really, because obviously I work with energy, so that's thoughts, feelings, all that sort of jazz. So if you constantly feel and believe that you are healing, in some way you've got to be mindful that you're not focused on the fact that you may be broken or um, you can't do this until you do that. That's, that's a little word of caution out there at the moment, but we are, as a planet, healing, whether you believe it or not, and it's all going to be it come down to your own perspective and what you're viewing in this world. Are you viewing all the drama and the chaos and the conflict and the warnings and all that sort of stuff? Or are you coming back to self, getting in touch with your intuition, developing your faith, trusting in the universe, developing your relationship with source themselves and being more soul led and spirit led? If you are interested in doing that, you're once again more than welcome to jump over to the Spiritual Shack over on uh, Facebook or you can join our Patreon where we basically just tap into where we are currently and we embrace Spirit's guidance and apply it to our lives accordingly. So that's what we do over there. Our personal issue is reaching a resolution. So we should be heading into times where there's more emotional happiness that's coming in. Right now it's very intuitive. So don't be surprised if you are feel, want to isolate yourself and this is a journey for self. Th that's very common in this type of energy. So I know I've been doing that. I've been giving very little air time to anything that, you know, isn't good for my highest good. And I feel like the more in alignment I get, I do have another chapter, which I'll be explaining very shortly, but not quite now. Um, please allow your intuition to lead you to where you need to be because um, things are gonna get emotionally better. Some of you do need to either drink more water, go visit water, be around water. There's some element of water. Water always represents emotion. So it could be either or. If you're feeling emotionally okay, then just make sure that you're staying hydrated. And please know that a personal, our own personal issues as individuals are reaching a resolution, but it's our job at the moment to go back into self and learn our lesson from whatever this is. Yeah, so it's really an important time to believe in the possible. This has been coming out for everybody as a collective, like one-on-one -on -one readings this week as well. It's really important to stay flexible because I feel like what you're asking for is gonna to come to you in a way which you don't expect it. So stay really flexible, um, but, but believe, you know, if you think that nothing is, nothing's possible and everything's hard and it's difficult, then so it is. But I know for myself and a lot of other energy workers out there, we are here to try to help you see a different perspective to help motivate, well, inspire you to motivate you to change or create some sort of shift in your own life. What I love about this energy, if you just see by the symbolism, the first two cards are the purple, you know, the real high intuitive cards, getting in touch with yourself and being soul led, um, trusting and having faith in source. And then we've got the two blue cards, you know, at the moment things may be a little bit frosty, you know, there may be a bit of Mexican standoffs happening, especially if you're having this sort of experience within personal relationships or anything like that. It's, um, I'm noticing that a lot as well, but please know that the more that you look after yourself, the more you take care of yourself, um, everything's gonna work out for you and, and you're gonna reach your resolution. So but start believing in the impossible, guys. It's, we're, we're closing out a karmic chapter for ourselves as individuals. If you are more soul led, then this is really gonna go, go in your favor. And um, we've got what do you need to release again? So still in that energy of releasing, we've got two releasing cards, releasing negativity. What do you need to release? If it's not, you know, negative things, it could be just addictions, habits, behaviors. It's a whole lifestyle shift. I think that's what a lot of people maybe really, they're feeling the pull to do it. Maybe don't know where to start. Like I say, jump over the spiritual shack. We're always happy to help you over there. Free one over on um, Facebook. Patreon one um, in the link down below. Anyway, let's get into some wisdoms, eh? That's all feeling based. So please know that if you've been following your intuition, it's gonna pay off. You are gonna feel so much more emotionally aligned and happier. All right, yeah, definitely. Look, ah, oh, that one just wanted to jump out. Oh, we got Unfinished Symphony and we got Never Ending Story. So at the moment, you need to make a choice for yourself. You either choose to get better or you choose to stay bitter. A lot of you do have a little bit of energy work to do because yeah, you can see the symbolism of the card. You know, it's kind of like I've been hurt so much. I've been damaged so much and I've had so much inflicted upon me that I've locked myself away. And I'm not really representing myself as the 
best possible version of myself you know the higher power means that spirit are there to help you right now whether it's your ancestors the angels fairies um everybody everyone that's in the non-physical right now they are trying to love you they're trying to support you they're trying to guide you in the right direction i kept getting symbology during the week during private readings and it didn't matter who i was reading for of spirit trying to pull people's hands so they're trying to hold your hand they're trying to guide you to where you want to go but so many people who are trapped in um, this type of energy where same shit different day you know it's not safe to love there's a, there's a lack of safety and security um, happening within these people look it's tough it, it, everyone's starting at a note at a different level but if this is you and you need to reach out please do please branch out and start getting amongst community groups who there's so many free ones out there there's no excuse for it that actually help you um, shift out of this energy um, you can book a healing you can get a heal whatever you're drawn to as an individual because you are being guided into guided into better right now please know that there are some really wonderful shifts happening in your home life so a lot of you maybe need to start at um, at the base of the matter and actually declutter and give your house a big cleanse give it a good sage open up your windows open up you know get some sage and attach all that negative energy to the smoke and push it out the window. Some of you maybe want to renovate, something of that nature. Um, I, or they just told me natural elements. So that we're all being encouraged to bring some natural elements into our home, fresh plants, water features, um, crystals, all that sort of stuff. If you already have that in your home, it may be time to cleanse them, something of that nature. But please know that I feel like if you shift the energy within your home, then you yourself will feel better and that will then flow out of the home and, and into the community. So that's into your workspaces and um, into all your opportunities because we have the co-create card too. So we are coming into a time of positive co-creation. So if you are currently someone who can admit that you sort of are a little bit too much hermitized and a little bit too isolated and you've locked your heart away from all different, from offers, opportunities and, and maybe love, Please, please know that it's okay to start branching out and start um, doing the energy work so you can get into the place of positive manifestation because with this co-create, this means you're gonna start meeting like-minded people. And I'd stay flexible in this co-creation too because I think these people are not who you think they're gonna, um, who you think they are. So if you've applied for a job and you think that that's the job, I'm gonna hear back from this job, you may actually hear from a job you applied for two months ago. Um, if you are getting to know somebody, but it's still a bit, ee, 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 you know, your gut sort of saying, nah, but your head saying, why not? Um, you know, it, it may not be that particular person. It may be someone else. So stay very, very flexible right now. Everything is showing us a certain aspect of ourselves, every experience we're having. I hope this making sense because I feel like they want to put 3000 words, um, into my mouth right now. So. A lot of us are coming out of this never ending story. We're adjusting our lifestyles. We're applying it because it's what's best for us. It's gonna help us get out of this unfinished symphony. There is the opportunity to shift the fundamentals in the home. If you have been doing the energy work um, in and around your home, then the benefits and rewards are starting to come in. And if that's the case, please believe in the possible and stay flexible because it's gonna come in a way that you don't, um, you aren't aware of. It's all been divinely orchestrated you are being divinely led and it's going to happen in divine timing. So are you in alignment with it? Which means your thoughts and feelings, you know, are stemming it as done and it's all on its way. Or are we feeling a little bit less than a little bit pessimistic? And if that's the case, then please reach out and, um, you know, do something to help yourself through that. So um, it's all going to come to a head shortly. I feel like it's in the next couple of weeks. I'll get one more of these. Or oh, maybe it'll choose it for me. This has come out every single single private reading this week. Every single reading. What's fated for you? What's destined for you? What you're meant to do? It's trying to be birthed from within you. But unless you honor yourself and give yourself the time to sit down and look at your life, identify those things that aren't currently working, put them on the left side of a sheet of paper, put on the right side of the paper, a list of maybe thoughts, affirmations, or inspired actions that you can do to shift out of this negativity into the positivity. You've got to start somewhere. Like it's not you're not going to go from feeling um, pessimistic to hopeful all in one jump. It's unrealistic. Spirit wants you to know that the stars are lining up for you. They are orchestrating something on our behalf. But we need to raise our vibration within our home, within ourselves, 
within our immediate environments so we can start co-creating, co-creating with source first and foremost and start co-creating with other people who have our best interests at mind are, are going to help us grow and expand as the beautiful people we are. So it, this is a journey, but if you feel destiny calling, um, this is going to be the song, London calling, I think, I don't know who sang it, um, but please know that the stars are lighting up for us from this moment forth, but we're still in that tricky energy, probably for the next week or two of sifting and sorting as to what that is for you. So make sure that you're very honest with yourself during this time. Let's get into some tarot quick drink and like as I look at my water <laughs> I'm following their their advice I do this naturally and intuitively anyway but um we'll get into some tarot get into some fortune telling and um see if we can get something a little bit more specific about what what is possible for uh, from this moment forth obviously once again I'll be doing February's after this so it'll be interesting to see if they're the same or something a bit different or what comes through for that New opportunities, here it comes. The night is a slow moving energy. This is something that you've been asking for for quite a long time. 1616, someone might wanna look that up, I will afterwards. They just made me look at that. Um, so this is um, opportunity. This is an increase in your abundance. This could be an increase in prosperity, joy and love. Whatever you're asking for as an, an, as an individual, it's coming in. It's gonna start off small. So if you start having some small wins, from this moment forth, or good things just come to happen, or you just happen to wake up in a bloody good mood. You know, congratulate yourself, bless yourself, show gratitude and appreciation for every single thing that you have in your now. Because when you do that, you are basically saying, more of this please universe, more of this please. In the coming four, to, I wanna go two, four, six weeks. So if you're really active in this, you may experience some changes in the next two weeks. If you're, you know, still finding your way, but you've got a positive groove going on, um, maybe in the next four weeks, six weeks, if you are just someone who goes, you know what, I've got nothing to lose. Everything I've done so far is not working. I might take Psychic D's advice, or I might take this person's advice, or I might try this, or I might try that, or I might actually follow my own internal guidance and, and go for a swim, or, you know, apply for a certain different job, or start, or sign up to study, or do something else, that you're probably at the six week mark. So this is unfolding gradually for everybody anyway. It is fated for you. It is filled with hope and promise and optimism and all that. This night can be someone who comes towards you to offer you something and you might actually receive it and go, oh, that's not good enough. Well, that's not enough. That's still lack and scarcity type mentality. If it's not in alignment with your goal, then you are more than welcome to use your discernment and say, hey, I really appreciate that, but that's just not congruent to me right now, but thanks for the offer. Or some of you are being guided to jump on it because this is your first lily pad. You'll be jumping to lots of lily pads over the course of the next probably three to six months. So some of you, it depends on the individual. But yeah, so you'll either create this opportunity for yourself or, and then this opportunity is gonna come in from you because I feel like someone's stepping towards me right now and is gonna ask me something, offer me something. So if you don't know what you want and you're still a bit scattered, this could throw you off your path and we don't want that. But it's definitely coming in and, and I think you, a, lot, a lot of you are getting a lot stronger and I love that. I love that. Here, yeah, see, here comes the money from your work. If you are about to launch something, if you're this apprentice type energy, you're about to step into a leadership type role. Some of you are just stepping into this apprentice type energy. And you know, sometimes this is the fun part. It's fun learning new things. But if you keep working at it, especially yourself from this moment forth, I see nothing but success for you. Nothing but success. Everyone defines their own success at the end of the day. And what that is for you is what's definitely coming in. So a lot of you need to start saying yes to maybe different co-creative adventures with other people as a way to grow and learn. Um, some of you may be okay just to do it and stay in your own lane and you're going to step up into that leadership. Some of you may be starting to get noticed um, as well. So keep up the great work because that's what we're here for as energy workers and people of service. It doesn't matter whether it's McDonald's or whether you're doing this or where you're working. If you're of service and you're giving your best and you're giving your all, you're about to get rewarded. Yep. And this is increasing. I don't see any decreasing at all. These are the rewards that are coming in because you've intuitively let go of what no longer serves you. You've dropped your burdens, you've dropped your worries, you've dropped your guilts. Um, 
I don't like saying let it go because that instantly conjures a feeling of lack for some people. I know for myself when I've had other addictions and I go, I've got to let it go, I've got to let it go. I knew I had to, but it still felt like a loss to me, even though I know that it was bad for me, you know what I mean? So um, I like to use the word release. It's just saying, ta-ta, ta-ta, I'm not gonna give you as much airtime. Just gonna, just gonna slowly pull my energy back, you know, because I choose to focus on my own cup now, not the cups that, um, that have been drained from me. So this thing come up a lot during private readings as well this week is a lot of people are needing to or are in the process of releasing energy vampires. You know, that's what's happening as a collective at the moment is that the level of illusion is being lifted and what you're going to manifest is going to be your reality. So please don't fall for the illusion, you know, that's uh, very important. So we did get the three of swords. So this is maybe some people still hold on beliefs that the world has to change for them to be happy or they're still really, really digging into the past of how um, they were treated or the injustice and all that sort of stuff. Hey, I'm human, I do it too. I'll share a story with you next week about that. But this is, we, we need to get out of this energy because everything that's that has um, caused us pain in our life, we need to turn it into some sort of passion of ours and that passion, then we can turn it into our purpose. So yeah, a lot of you are still making judgment calls. So like I say, it's hard doing a collective reading because everyone's all over the shop to me. Everyone's experiencing something different. Everyone deals with things differently. What may affect one may not affect another and all that sort of stuff. But please, if you're making positive judgment calls about yourself, you are focusing on yourself and you are just tapping into that vibration of wanting to feel better, to do better, to receive better. And um, you know that comes through clarity and understanding sometimes. So you may need to study something. You may have to do some workshops. You may need some assistance or co-creative partners to help you move forward, start moving forward, please do that. But if you are already doing it, you might have some options and offers coming in through the Knight of Pentacles here where you've got to go, oh, Jesus, any, many, many, my, oh, shit, I've sort of gone from a, fa um, fe a famine to a feast here. Um, yeah, and things are really looking up. So it's going to be different for everybody. But either which way, there's nothing but growth here. I can feel, I can see it, but I can, I can sense the the current energies and I know for myself over the last two days my back's given out on me again my lower back but I follow this lady I can't remember her name in reading mine but she does somatic somatic exercises and I acknowledge that I hold all my trauma there so today is the two-year anniversary of my brother's passing so today's a tough one and I sort of put together yesterday two and two is that the fact that I knew this day was coming um, and I hold all my trauma and my stress there it, I'm not surprised that it flared up you know, um, yesterday and, and today. So I'll be working on that, sharing my journey the best that I can with the time that I have. But yeah, I just want you all to know that even if we, you know, believe, have very strong beliefs and stuff that we're still human too. So yeah, look at that. See guys, the more you step up into your power and use your sword to cut out all the BS that you have got, got going in your, on, in, in your life, um, this, the temperance is coming in. This is wishes fulfilled. This is my glass is half full, um, not my glass is half empty. This is, to me, this always represents karmic reward and energy. So whatever you've put out there, it's going to come back. And like I say, stay flexible right now because it's going to come back in a way that you don't expect it. You won't expect it. Because I see a lot of deer in headlights there going, wow, I thought I was going to get that job, not this job. Wow. Or I thought he'd ask me out, not, not him or... I don't know, there's, there's, it's like you assume this, but it's actually this is going to happen because Spirit are orchestrating this because they know what's for your highest good. So remain open and flexible. That could be our mantra for the week. I am open and flexible in the way in which things can come to me. So you might want to jot that one down, but I do affirmations too in the, in the Spiritual Shack, the Patreon group. So it'd be interesting to see what our self-script comes out to be from this week um, on. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got a new door. And so like I say, a lot of us are closing out a chapter. This is a karmic cycle in our life and we're about to start a new one. So I know sometimes through these processes, we feel like we're going through loss and um, worry and concern and it's, it feels like the battle. But honestly, the biggest battle that most people face is the one from within. So if you need help with that, obviously, get the assistance you need. But... Um, I, I just feel like the worst now, the worst is behind us now. I really do. 
but it's people who are actually picking up the past or how it currently is. They put it in a little backpack and they, and they take that forward with them, you know? That's what we're trying to help stop right now. There are helpful people around you. Like I said, there's co-creative, here's the knife that's coming in. There are helpful people out there that can help you to move from where you are to where you wanna be. Nobody's ever better than anybody else. We have all just applied our own um, level of focus and attention and effort and energy into certain things. So no one's better than the other. So never think that just because someone else is manifesting what they want and you're not, that you're doing something wrong, you're not. It's just that they've, they've been doing get, getting a stronger momentum quicker, that's all. But there are so many helpful people out there. Please reach out. Someone does want to help you. So it's a bit better, you've got to stay open as to who that is and use your discernment. And we've got divine magic. So this is magical, this is magical manifestation. This is things landing in your lap. This is from source, this is divine intervention. They are there, everything that we've asked for is in a little pocket, which we call the vortex, you know, in, in the universe. But unless we raise our vibration and, and feel better and better and better ourselves, we will always struggle to align and receive those things. So we're still on the process, guys. Like I say, you put yourself, you know what you're doing, what you're putting out there, but we're at the two, four, six week mark. Two weeks for those who are very active, deliberate creators. Um, spoke to a couple during the week and I'm like, they made me all goose bumpy because they're just on it, they're on tap. Um, but for four weeks for those who are still learning and growing in that, and maybe six weeks for those who are just starting out. And like I say, more power to you. Keep going. Keep going. So extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. That just reminds me. On last Sunday night, I went to bed. I did my meditation. And as I was just drifting off into sleep, I, um, Olivia Newton-John's song, you know, that, have to believe we are magic. That song kept coming through. And I'm thinking, oh, um, the word magic just kept coming up. Everything I saw, everything I watched was that. And first I thought, oh, Olivia, are you channeling me? <laughs> you got a message for me? But um, yeah, I, I can't even remember in reading mind, all the synchronistic events that happened throughout the week all related back to magic. So please to, please believe in magic this week. Because like I say, be open to receive it in, in the most flexible ways because it's going to appear like magic. It really is. All right, now we're gonna get, get some Keepers of the Light cards. So if you believe in non-physical deities, I always call upon three. You can take one, you can take all. Um, as to back up what, the guidance that we just received. So, so the main guidance, guys, is to, to keep adjusting your lifestyles. Make it more towards what it is that you want. All right, so we got Kalima, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding and this is your chance to soar. Perfect, perfect. So Kalima, Kalima, I don't know whether you wanna write that down or screenshot it or do whatever. So it's facing your fears. Face your fears and do it anyway. And all fears are to me in an energy sense are those things that you're not vibrationally prepared or ready for, you know? So the trick is to come back to ground zero and start preparing your energy uh, for what it is that you do want. So you don't receive it and then not know what to do with it because that happens a lot too. They think, I want this, I want that. And then all of a sudden they get it. And then what kicks in is that, oh, this is too good to be true. And they start sabotaging things. <sighs> not that. Okay, so we've got Odin and that is psychic insight. What did I say right at the beginning with the two purpley cards are buried under there? I, can't remember in reading mind what they were, <laughs> but um, this is the intuition, following your psychic path, being more soul-led, spirit-led, follow your internal guidance. If something feels icky to you, leave it alone. Don't give it any airtime. If it feels right, do more of that. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. This is gonna help shift the illusion on this planet and within yourself and in your own life. So you can call upon Odin for that as well. Last but not least, we have Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. I'm pretty sure that came out last week as well. So there is a higher level of abundance, security, stability that's coming in. It is available to you all. There is no scarcity or lack in this universe. It's us that pinch ourselves off from it. So I call upon um, Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed, healing, spiritual support, and connections are increasing. Uh, don't we know it? And don't we know it? 
So I think that's a beautiful confirmation that we're sort of the fog is just lifting. So don't please don't be too hard on yourself if you are star that star um, are still experiencing the contrast. That is very typical in this type of energy as we come out of Mercury retrograde, but it's about to rack off, which is going to be amazing for all of us. So now's the time to educate ourselves so we can also pass our own wisdom and knowledge and abilities onto those who are just starting to wake up. So yeah. All right, guys, once again, thank you all so much for joining. I hope that all made sense. It felt really different for me. I will have a quick break. I will be uploading the month of February specifically for my Patreon shortly. And I'll also be drawing three cards um, to give us our self script for the week ahead as well. So they usually complicate, complicate, <laughs> all right. Compliment each other really nicely. So um, if you want to join my Patreon, it's over there. If you would like to buy me a coffee or leave a kind donation, those links are down below. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then uh, my website's down below as well. So wishing you all an amazing week ahead. Be kind to yourself and um, do unto others what you want done to you. So have a good one, guys. Thanks again. Bye.